Hello YouTubers, here we got the Crescendo 800.4, 4 channel, browsing YouTube, there's not really too many videos in the 800.4, so I thought I'd make a quick video, just got it yesterday, not going to do an unboxing video, because well, that's too easy, and sorry, I'm kind of doing this with my phone, my camera's not working at the moment, nice amplifier, here she is, not big at all, very nice amplifier, Give you an example. Here's a TV remote. It's not much longer. Also, not wi much wider either. The actual TV remote is longer than the what? Sorry, wider than the amp. As you can see, nice logo, just like all their bass clefs and all their amplifiers. Go to the other end of it. You got four gauge ends, power, ground, remote wire, speaker terminals. One very nice aspect of this amp, as you can see, you got the, all your lights, your protect light, your power light, channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, and that's a nice feature Crescendo added to this amplifier is those lights. So I'll give you an example of what they do if you do not know what they do. There we go. Perfect. Channel 1, give you an example. You can see in the right corner of the screen. So you put your speaker wires into channel 1. Uh, if you put them in there, channel 1 is going to light up. As well as, channel, you know, if you do channel 2, channel 2 is going to light up. Channel 3, channel 3 is going to light up. You get the picture. It's a very nice feature. Because it tells you, you know, because it lights up if you got, if you got your speakers in there. Uh, you know, say you by mistake you didn't cut enough wires off or on your speaker wire and you put it in there and you're not making a good connection that light is not going to light up you know if you don't have enough wire to obviously make that connection it's a very nice feature for the sympathy Just a quick picture on the side go to the other end of it flip it around Just like all their other amplifiers, very nice RCAs, just like their bass cloughs. Get your input, your output. This is, in fact, a two-channel amplifier also. Each channel can be run as a two-channel, cha uh, one, one and two, and three and four. Give an example, I can uh, get this switch over here, right there. You can flick the switch, uh, and then that makes that whole channel, mm -hmm. channel one and channel two, a two channel, a two channel. And then you, and then you can do the same as well for channel three and four. So say I want to run my channel one and two, I want to run those for my two front speakers or two rears or whatever. And then channel three and four, I want to run that on a sub. So you can run your mids and sub, or run channel one and two, run all your mids on, and then channel two, hey, I just want to add a little bit to get a sub to get a little bit going. You can do that. That's what I'm going to do in my case till summertime, this, until this case car, wow, sorry, until this amp goes in my car, my car with my base cloth that's in storage. So it's a little sad. I'm really not going to get a taste of this amp for a while. Because, well, where I live, it's very cold outside, and I'm not putting it in. To the business end of it, so I'm going to put the camera down, I'm going to flip it over. There we go. The business end of it. Very nice. A lot of new technology. You know, me and a buddy had to actually look it over because it's very different compared to all the amplifiers. Uh, you're not running so many co you got a lot of transformers now. Two, four transformers over here. Mini transformers. S spare room. Bus, little bus bars everywhere. Everywhere in this board. Got your crossover section. Like caps. One thing also Crescendo just started doing 
obviously they've been doing for your power grounds on your inside of the amps they've been running these little they've been running these for quite a while now but they haven't did it on the speakers going in well now they started doing it on their speakers and as you can see these puppies are pretty thick there we go they're pretty thick for just speaker little speaker connections obviously crescendo don't want you to see what's under there but I'm guessing if I had to take a guess that has to do something with their two channel switch very nice amp honestly if they wanted to make this amp smaller they could there's a lot of space right there let me flip this over a little bit give you a different shot view of it sorry I'm a little shaky very nice amp get excited the crossover section and you're gonna get a light over there but they're from the eye you can see a lot under there past all those uh that quick connect right there of course it's crossed over you know how the, everybody knows how that goes very nice amp for the money you can't beat it I was actually gonna use a Rockford I was thinking about Rockford for a mid mid-range amp but came across crescendo I heard a lot of good things about it I own two crescendo 5500s I will try to do a review on that those also just quick review show the gods all the good stuff so and so some specs about this amp and I'm gonna honestly right read this right off their site Crescendo 804 is the second from the right. At 4 ohms this, by 4, this amp does 125 watts. 2 ohms, 200 watts by 4 channels. Now this amp, 2 channels, like I said, it's a 2 channel amp also, you flick the switch. 400 watts by 2 channels. So it's a very nice amp. If you want to look up the specs, you can. I'm using this to power two P PWX eights. Tweeters running to them. So I'll, I'll try to get a video when I get this installed. Just quick demo. Uh, if you like what you see? Comment on it. Do some comments. Sub subscribe. Ask me questions. Feel free. You guys have a good one.